So we're playing block 8 today and I'm actually going to show you how to build a disco ball But first in my discord server I'll link um, the invite in the description so make sure to go check it out This message literally made my day You know you get them like cringy pickup lines um, This is probably one of the best ones to use I recommend using this Did you fart? Because you blew me away. That is awesome. If people are going to say that is childish, um, just shut up. So thank you to this person for actually giving me this video idea. So anyway, to build this um, disco ball, it's pretty simple. So to build the mechanisms, you want to change the shape to... Where's truss? Yeah, you want to change it to truss. And then how many colours you want to be in your disco ball, you want to place that many down. So I'm going to have four, I'm going to have red, blue, green, yellow. So what you want to do is place three outside where you don't want people to see. So I'm going to place them here like this. And this is going to be the little disco room. Obviously you can build it bigger. And um, I'm actually going to make the disco ball here. So I'm just going to place the truss there like that. Oh, oh god, what am I doing? I'll actually make um, these that way round so it's the same way. Um, so once you've done that, you want to actually change it to slab block and change it to slab and put an M telly going from this to another block. Don't uh, make the M telly go into the same place, so do it like a block away. Make sure none of, the, none of these mechanisms touch also. Um, so I'm doing an M telly for all of them. Um, you can't see the M telly decal. If you do the M telly on a normal block, you'll be able to see the decal, um, but with these you can't. Okay, so if you do the command show wiring, it will show you that there is actually an M telly on this. Um, for some reason, it's not working, so probably the fans break, but it might be fixed soon. Um, yeah, because it shows you the outlines of where there's commands on blocks, so you'll be able to see if you've got an M telly on that. So these M telly. These all have M tellies on. I could just change it to cube and then safe place on there. As you can see, it teleports there. Um, you want to do the same with this one over here as well. Make sure it's on slab rump, slab. Um, so I'm doing M telly going from here and then place it somewhere where these aren't. So that telly was here, so we can place this one over here like that. So now what you want to do is change it to fall cube. You can do the command show axis, put an exclamation mark in front of it. Make sure that things on the top, place it down, um, find the right way around so when it respawns it doesn't keep rotating. So I'm going to do movable auto respawn 1. I'm going to move it and see when it rot when it teleports back, will it rotate? Yeah, it's rotating. So I'm going to turn it, try it again, movable auto respawn 1. Remember it can be any number in seconds. Um, I'm just seeing which way is the right way around. Okay, so it is that way, because that's the only other way, so movable auto respawn 1. Um, remember to have that thing on the top, and then when I move it now, it's going to teleport back without rotating. That's what you want to happen, um, remember that way. So now what you want to do is place the cube on top like this, on all of them. Place that one on top, make sure to place it on top, remember. And then now what you want to do is change it back to full, change it to block. Um, place blocks on top of this like this. I can delete this block here if you don't need it. Um, Cast with basically the floor. The balls are actually going to be sitting on top of these mechanisms. Make sure to have the size on full. You can have ball cube or you can have block on. And now what you want to do is do an M telly going from this slab, which is a cube here, and going to the next one. So like you'll go to here on top like this. So when this respawns, whatever here, it'll take it to the next one. So it'll go across, and then when this respawns, it'll take it to here. So it's going across, and then when it goes to here, it will take it over here on top of that, like that. But then this one here is a part of this one. So then this one would have to connect up and go over there, so it'll be an endless circle. And now we want to add the sides on to make sure to have a block on and change it to slab and you want to add the sides on like this and then you want to do this for every one like that. So 
So then once you've done that, you want to actually add the balls in. Make sure that the balls are the right way around. Um, if you don't, I'll just change it this way because it's the wrong way for me. If you don't, and let me just change it to move or auto respawn one. Um, as you can be able to see, it actually messes it up. So um, just wait a bit. So as you can see, it's kind of like bouncing. <laughs> so I don't get how this works, but it's like firing. So I guess if you want to make a shooting thing, um, just make this. I don't get how it works because it doesn't work straight away. As soon as you put the command on, you have to wait a bit, and then if it moves, if it moves around, and um, that's when it starts flinging everywhere. But it's very confusing because it doesn't work. It doesn't do this straight away. And now, yeah, oh god, it's going shooting even further now. So now the challenge is deleting this. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay then. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think I got it. Anyway, so the right way around for me is like this. So now we, you want to place the balls in here. But you want to make sure that these are different colours. So I'm going to have red, green, blue, yellow. So I'm going to do red first here. Um, you want to change the light colour to red as well. Or whatever your colour is. There we go, like that. Because at the moment there isn't any light on it. You want to just turn it up. I turn it up to max, which is 30. You can see this is pretty bright. Um, it will be bright on certain colours. So I'm going to place that one there. And then you want to do the next colour. So I'm going to do blue. To change this to blue, place that one there, and then yellow, change it to yellow, and place that there. I've just done something that's completely stupid. Um, don't put these mechanisms as close to the place because, um, as you can see, it's going through the wall, which is so annoying. Look, you can see it through the wall, um, so you want to build them further away. Um, anyway, I'll show you how to do this, and I'll just rebuild it again in a second. And you guys can actually see it working. So let me just do the green one quickly, like that. We can close these down now. Just place that green one in. I want the colours to be switching every second. So these cubes here are going to be on movable auto respawn one because I want it to change every second. So because it goes every one second and there's four of them, you want to put the balls on easy movable auto respawn four. Um, so every round I'll just respawn just in case of the glitch out. You can do easy movable respawn on the balls and the cubes. Um, so if they fall into the void they'll respawn automatically. So I'm going to um, do this command on the balls like this. If you had five colours and for every one you wanted it to be two seconds. For all the balls to go around it would take ten seconds. So then if you did like six balls and you did it every half second. Um, you have to put it on three seconds. That's how long it would take for all the balls to go around. So after that, you just want to say exit, and then I'm going to put the command on these. So easy movable auto respawn one. I'm going to click these like this. As you can see, um, they will be messed up at the start, but as soon as they respawn, they will be back to normal. And as you can see, that is the disco ball. It is not rotating at the moment, and you can't see it, which is terrible. We're going to change that in a second. I'm actually going to speed this up a bit. Um, I'm actually going to change it to 0 0.5. So first we need to change the ball. So easy, movable, auto, respawn. So I'm going to do 0 0.5. So it would be 2 for them to do a whole round. So let's just click all of these. There we go, like that. And then on these ones we're going to do easy, movable, auto, respawn, 0 0.5, like so. There we go, and it's going a bit faster now. Obviously, the small number you make them the faster it will go, so it's going to be faster. I can make it even faster if I want to. Um, annoyingly, you can see these through the wall, so I'm going to move them away further in a second. So, anyway, to get these to spin, because you might want to give them a spinning motion, it looks best to hit the different materials. So, I'm actually going to change the material to say like cobblestone, um, so you can see it moving around. Oh, they're moving so fast. Oh, I'm just clicking, clicking by accident. Anyway, so these are cobblestone at the moment. I need to change that because that's going to annoy me. There we go. So these are cobblestone, so it's easier to see. That one's cobblestone in there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we want them to rotate. So now I want them to rotate pretty fast. So I'm going to do easy cannon 10. So this will get them to rotate. Obviously, the, the bigger number it is, the faster that it will rotate. The lower the number is, the slower it will rotate. And you want to place them on these walls. So if I want it to go like this way around, I would have to place one there, one there, and go around like that. If I wanted it to go this way around, so clockwise, I would have to place the cannon there and the cannon there. I want the balls to turn clockwise, so I'm actually going to 
click these like this and this would actually turn the ball clockwise because the balls are turning so fast you need to do this for all of them so I'm actually going to do this now make sure they're all going around round the same way so as you can see the balls are actually turning and rotating as you can see there so obviously like little bit of detail uh, for the material you'll be able to see it better if it's plastic it'll probably be really hard to see it turning but yeah you can see the turning and now obviously if you look in there you can't really see the ball so what you just want to do now is go into the paint tool change the transparency to one keep can glide on yeah you don't have to mess with that um, if you change can glide to be off the balls pull straight through so make sure to have the transparency as just one and can glide keep that on you have to mess around with that you just want to click all of these click that truss inside oh no i'm clicking the floor i can't get it what is going on okay let me do these first so you can do the exact same to these ones like this just make sure not to touch the balls because you want people to actually see them okay you touch the side okay yeah so you just get the side like just Or need to do that one there go why can't I okay then this is really annoying because look if you come over here you can actually hide the truss oh no really what is what are the chances that I would fall into that block so for the trust you can just like click there put the transparency to one on the truss how about if I go from up here can I get it there why this is actually really annoying why can't I click it? Well, I can click the other ones fine, but I can't get Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, obviously, you don't want to see the cannon, so you can do easy hide decals like that. Um, then you can click all of these and it would actually hide the cannons. I've just accidentally changed one of the um, balls transparency, um, so make sure you don't do that. Let's just change it back to zero because I want to change the ball transparency back. So which one is it again? There we go. Red is back. Um, why is that transparency gone back? Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we've got our moving disco ball. I'm actually going to build this further away because it's messing up everything. You can see it through the wall. So I'll be right back. Oh, and after you want to say exit as well. Okay, I've just done the command reset world so I can build it again. Um, but it didn't reset world. It only cleared the movables. Okay then. So I guess the reset command, reset world command is broke at the moment. Oh no. Okay, so I have built this. I built the other mechanisms over there. Um, I didn't do um, easy hide decals and transparency. One of them ones only on this one in here because um, you're not really going to see them ones. Uh, remember, you can like lower this ball. It's pretty high. It's like touching the ceiling um, as you can see it's pretty cool to make a disco you can make this faster and um, you can make it slower if you want you can also use the command easy movable network server and what this will actually do is if you place it on the movable so balls or cubes it would actually make it harder to push and people aren't going to push them anyway but this command actually makes it so it's smoother so yeah you can place that on all of the movable so the balls and the cubes to make them move smoother also uh, if you're making a game with this and you're doing it like really fast uh, make sure to warn people that there is like flashing lights because people might have epilepsy so you want to warn them before they go into like the disco room and just say oh hey there's bright flashing lights um, this video will be fine because it's pretty slow so yeah that's actually going to be all for this video press that big red button which says subscribe like this video and we'll see you on the next video Bye.